The new game mode Hazard Zone has been revealed for Battlefield 2042, and everybody's speculation seems to be correct on a Tarkov slash Hunt Showdown slash Vigor raid based game mode survival aspects. And you go in with loot, get more loot and hard drives that come down on satellites and extract. If you don't extract, you have to wait for another extraction period. But there's a storm coming in and there's other players as well as AI. Now, we've got all the information that is uh, available right now on the website. I will put it in the description for you to read in full yourselves. But I will take a quick run through of it with you now for those that are unaware and find it more convenient, just like the old days, you know. So we're going to start off with in the year 2040, a worldwide event known as the blackout has caused over 70 percent of the satellites in orbit to malfunction and fall into the atmosphere. Communication, navigation and surveillance were crippled, bringing an already tenuous relationship between the US and Russia to the edge of war. In response, both countries have begun to use satellites equipped with capsules containing radiation-hardened data drives to collect important intelligence throughout the world. These capsules are dropped down into US or Russian controlled territories for occupying forces to secure. Such data drives are essential to NOPATs around the globe, providing them with valuable information to keep all NOPATs, including non-combatants, safe. And when necessary, the information can be sold in the dark market in return for supplies needed for survival. This is where you come in. In Battlefield Hazard Zone, you play as an elite task force assigned to retrieving these critical data drives. You and your squad must locate, gather and extract these drives before a storm overtakes the area in a high stakes one life experience. It then goes on to detail in the hazard zone you need to get in, get the goods and get out in one piece. Simple on paper, in execution far more complicated as you need to contend with other players, occupying forces being AI and the deadly storm. And that teamwork is crucial to leave the hazard zone alive. You'll start each game of hazard zone at the mission area briefing screen where you'll see an overview of the mission area. Here you'll find which regions of the map have a higher probability of you encountering data drives, enemies and uplinks. I think the uplinks are used to revive teammates possibly that are downed. If the whole team is down, that's it, game over, mission failed. Definitely needs that gear fear kind of, there's a chance of losing everything uh, to work if they don't kind of do that and it's just purely battlefield but one life it's <laughs> in a little bit of a mission it's not going to work very well i don't think it will last very long but it seems like they're they're heading the right direction here so far anyway venturing into areas where there's low probability of foes is likely safer but you'll find less data drives for the big rewards you'll have to head into the heart of danger and come out the other side alive Using that briefing information, you and your squad will then select your specialist and loadout. Every squad is composed of four unique specialists, so you and your teammates will need to pick your specialists and loadouts that complement one another if you're going to extract safely. Using the Dark Market Credits DMC earned in Battlefield Hazard Zone, you'll be able to purchase your favourite weapons and equipment that can get you out of a tight spot. If your pockets are full of the in-game credits, which are only earned via the gameplay, not purchased outside of the game with your money, it's all done in-game, so there's no pay-to-win aspects to Hazard Zone, you'll be able to purchase and equip SMGs, assault rifles, sniper rifles, and more. You can also buy throwables and equipment that will grant you a tactical advantage, like medical and ammo crates, or smoke grenades capable of granting you a cover you can use to escape intense firefights, and let's not forget the explosive recoilless m5 capable of punching a hole in enemy vehicles but if you're hard up for dmc the credits don't worry every specialist will have access to a free attachmentless assault rifle as a starter weapon alongside your equipment you can also buy tactical upgrades that can drastically improve your chances of survival So it says about going in to the actual hazard zone. After you deploy on the landing zone, you'll use a scanner unique to hazard zone to search for the downed capsules containing the data drives. You'll need to be cautious as multiple deadly obstacles can spring up in your way at any time in addition to other NOPAT soldiers searching for data drives. I think that's the other players. AI controlled occupying forces will be roaming the map and guarding the data drives. So be ready for a fight. But be careful, if you go down, your teammates can only bring you back under special circumstances, which I think were the things we mentioned earlier, the uplinks. And then as you make your way toward the data drives from the satellite capsules that have fallen already, 
even more capsules will plunge to the earth as your match goes on which we can see in the reveal trailer these capsules will contain more data drives the more of these data drives you have the more loot and the more risk for reward which is a great thing a great addition definitely going to get the uh those tense moments those uh you know those that i don't want to die because we've got all this loot there's a risk we're going to lose everything but we could get more rewards more gear better gear for the next run or we could lose everything and have to start again so with the greater risk at this point the hazards around you uh, also increase as the storm that will overtake the area by the match's end is growing further and becoming more dangerous by the minute and then for extraction we can identify the extraction zones by green smoke should be marked on the map as well um you'll have to hurry as you will only have a short time to safely get on board you've got to escape via a helicopter but i think from what this reads there could also be ai there as well uh, so we have to fight your way out uh, you must get on the helicopter to extract if one of your squad mates fails to board in time they will miss the window and have to extract during the final extraction window so once the first extraction is complete the storm begins to take full effect making the map more dangerous to make matters worse you'll only have one last attempt to extract during the final retrieval phase most of the initial data drives have been retrieved by other teams of notepads and you'll be able to track these with your data drive scanners ah so you can track other players with the data drive scanners and see where those players are if they're moving around the map uh they must be on a player okay so you're very very exposed if you're carrying drives hmm kind of does that in vigor when you have the the airdrop you're you're identified on the map you can you can track it and it says be aware your foes are tracking you as well okay it goes on to say as the storm approaches its peak the final extraction window opens the last extraction zone will force the remaining teams to battle over the last chance to leave any team that is left behind effectively loses the round and all data drives they have gathered to this point lost to the storm squads that successfully capture data drives and extract will be rewarded with the dmc the in-game credits as well as a bonus dealt out to members based on their actions taken during the match such as kills the more data drives you extract the higher the reward for your squad will be the more data drives you gather in the match of hazard zone the more xp you gain for your overall level and battle pass and the more dmc you collect to spend on equipment and upgrading during a future match if you're on a hot streak and your specialist extracts consecutively enough you'll learn an extraction streak marker tied to the chosen specialist that will re reduce the cost of weapons equipment and tactical items for that specialist while you're continuing to play with them however if you fail to extract that marker and all of its benefits disappear until you earn another streak well that's interesting getting a streak not sure why i think of that one but let me know in the comment section below what you think uh, of all this information there's, there's a little bit more uh the q a but uh, as i've said i'll leave the link to the information on the battlefield website in the description below and i'll probably pin it in the comments as well for you guys to check out and uh yeah that's all the information we have so far for the hazard zone mode for battlefield 2042 and i think this probably will become my main game mode to be honest uh, if they do it well and they nail it you know get get loads of the best parts of what tarkov does hunt showdown and vigor hunt showdown and vigor i love but uh, i do love that type of game the raid based session based survival where you got to get in get a certain objective done and get out and extract before the map finishes you die or the environment kills you whichever it might be so if they do this right taking the best parts uh given that gear fear and uh you know a little bit of a mission to do get better loot you can get better and better loot but the more better loot you get the bigger that gear fear is going to get till you have to die and kind of start again fresh because you lost that big big high geared character uh, or you've got no credits left because you spent it all so you have to go in with that standard ar i don't know what do you think let me know in the comment section below don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you enjoy the content i create it really helps the channel out a lot and gets it out there share it with your friends i love you forever and i'll see you peeps next time